Hello my friends, welcome to Anna's Violets. Today you see here these two wonderful amaryllis bulbs, but it's not about them, it's about insects, mealybugs. And I'm going to show you what to do with them, how to deal with this problem. But first of all, don't get ever frustrated if you have any insects, any diseases on your plants, because it's absolutely manageable. Well, the rule number, number one, not to have any insects or diseases, when you buy plants from garden centers or greenhouses, just check them in the greenhouses and buy only healthy plants. Sometimes you may even see some insects and bugs even in the well-known and famous greenhouses and garden centers. And this is absolutely normal and natural because it's nature. And where there are so many trees and plants and soil, it's warm, it's moist, of course, there will be some insects. And it's not about getting rid of all of them, not to have any possible insect ever, but it's all about managing them and controlling their quantity. Well, now there are so many different things that you can do to deal with this problem. Well, problem, it's not a problem, okay? I do believe that insects are even so interesting and so beautiful. Yes, they are beautiful if you just examine them under a microscope, or even just a close micro uh, photo, you can see that their structure is so complex and so interesting, right? But okay, this is not the topic of this video. So now here I have mealybugs. Mealybugs, as you can see, uh, they're really, okay, well, you know, soft and white and very interesting and very nice, I would say, but unfortunately, the food for them is the juice of our plants. And we actually prefer to have healthy plants that will bloom and make us really happy rather than having even such beautiful but insects. Sometimes people, when they see an insect, they run to the stores to buy some chemicals to spray them, to do all these kind of things. If it's just one plant, let's say you have just one or two plants like this, all right, and you have an insect, well, you can just get rid of an insect without any chemicals without any uh, stress for yourself or for the plant. I'm going to show you how to do it in a second. If we have animals, let's say dogs and cats, all our pets can sometimes play with our plants and can sometimes bite them. Sometimes, well, there may be no problem, but sometimes it also can cause a problem for our pets. So it's better not to use these chemicals at all if possible. Well, if you have one or two plants and they are so infested with pests that you, you know, that it will be like a fight against insects for a couple of months, then, you know, maybe it's not worth it. Maybe it's better just to throw away your plant and just get a new and healthy one. But if you, if the quantity is still manageable, it's very easy to get rid of it without any chemicals. Even if you want to use some chemicals, please try to find some organic ones. I'm sure if you just try, you can online, uh, you can order something even online and try to find first organic ones, which are not so harmful. They're not even harmful for, harmful for butterflies. And you know that butterflies and bees are also outside on our plants. So try to not harm the nature and try to be as nice to nature as you can. And here you can see even this leaf is a little bit wrinkled and a little bit white it's not totally green as it should be so this is a sign that even if you don't see a, an insect but if you see that the new leaves are growing wrinkled most probably there is a problem there is either a disease or an insect so you then it means that you need to uh, carefully observe your plant and maybe you will find something now we need to wash and remove all the bugs and insects from our plants with soap water so we're going to Cover the soil. Why we're doing this? It has three reasons why we're doing this. Reason number one is that the soap water will not fall on the soil. And reason number two, you will not want over water your plants because we will be washing with the soap and then rinsing the plants. So too much water may uh, fall into our um, pot and the soil and this will harm depending on your plant. So we don't want to over water our plants too. And reason number three is that when we are washing um, and working with our plants, some insects may fall. And if they fall on the soil, they will climb up again uh, on the plant later. So these are the main reasons why we really want to close the soil. And for this, I'm just taking 
plastic bag. Here is my soap water, a little bit foam. And we're wearing gloves now. And I just use this to have some foam here. And I'm going to try to clean all parts first, removing only the insects, where I, whenever I see them. See, one fell. I wanted to take it and it fell and I can just, I'm sorry, but I will need to kill it just right on this plastic bag. I don't kill, don't kill bees, don't kill, I don't know, ants, spiders. They have their mission in, on this planet, in the nature, and they're very important. Maybe you don't know their function, but we need them. So, two, three were here. I'm trying to go in deeper into the leaves to see if someone is there because this is where they want to hide. And I must say, whoo, five. Of course, try to be as gentle as you can, not to break any leaves because, you know, we have here two flower spikes going out. So we will have maybe 10 to 12, maybe even more uh, flowers here. And I forgot to say that this one is Barbados dark red with white stripes from the middle to the tips very beautiful one you may notice some powder and stuff so it may be their eggs maybe you will not see insects but this white powder is also from the bugs from this insect so you you want to remove that too and then the next step is that we take this kind of tissues again soak them in, in um, soap water and now with this, we clean everything again. So first step number one is that we remove only the bugs, whatever we see. And step number two, when there are no bugs already, we just try to wash or clean with this once more. All right. So see, now I'm just really washing our flower spikes, our leaves between the leaves this will help to remove all eggs that mealybugs had here all right and also maybe you have missed missed one you haven't noticed and this will help just to do the job to remove all of them Try to go as deep into these layers as you can because sometimes they may be even hiding there, okay? All right. You take another cotton tissue and this time we're soaking this into clear water and we go over all the tissues again, flower spikes, buds, leaves and even the this uh, dry parts of the bulb with the cotton. And that's step number three. And step number four, you will need to repeat this whole thing that we have done, even if you will not see any bugs, any insects, still you will need to repeat this for two or three times after seven or ten days, because now there may be something that we didn't uh, didn't see, didn't remove, and after 7 or 10 days, if there are any eggs from these eggs, the new insects will uh, be born, and so we don't want this to continue, so we will need to repeat this just to remove everything that was left, everything that we missed this time, we can remove after 7 or 10 days. And if you repeat this procedure for 2-3 times, I guarantee you will never have, well not never, but you will not have any mealybugs this time. I will tell you one more tip in the very end of this video. Our problem is solved. And now you can see that we have absolutely clean green leaves. By the way, I didn't mention, and this one is cherry nymph. It's a very big flower, again, dark red, but just the tips are a little bit, you know, they have just um, dots, uh, white dots on the tips. So my advice to you is that, first of all, keep your plants healthy and clean. When you, whenever you buy a new plant, just try to choose a healthy plant in the greenhouse or a garden center. Even when you think that it's a very healthy plant, even if you don't notice any insects or any spots of diseases, whenever you bring a new plant home, try to 
you know, place it separately from your other plants, maybe in another room. Well, maybe if you don't have a possibility to keep it separate, uh, then maybe you can just wash it. And the last thing that I want to do is to show you now the, these leaves and everything in a close-up so that you know, so that you see what was the impact of this um, mealie bugs, what they have done to the leaves and green tissues. Stay passionate about plants, don't get stressed about insects, we can all deal with them, and see you next time!